हे हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अवर डी सिक्सटी फाइव फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशन मॉड्यूल वाइज ट्रेनिंग सीरीज सो इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी कवर प्रोडक्ट डायमेंशन ट्रैकिंग डायमेंशन एंड द स्टोरेज डायमेंशन सेटअप सो इन दिस न्यू एपिसोड वी फोकसिंग ऑन द कैटेगरी हायर की कैटेगरी रोल एसोसिएशन एंड प्रोक्यूरमेंट कैटेगरी सो फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द कैटेगरी हायर की इन डी सिक्सटी फाइव एफ एन ओ we can categorize the product in the specific group or some specific category to organize your product and it's also helpful to reporting purpose let's i click on the product information management inside product information management you have categories and attribute we select category hierarchy you can see here is a some default data which is provided by the microsoft Let's I'll open the any existing categories. Here you can see first is a parent node. Parent node have their child node. Also some parent node have grandchild node or sub node. So let's I'll create a new category. first it's blank so let's create our new category node which is a parent node we name it as a home use item save this inside a parent node we create one more sub category or child node create one more child node inside child node we again create one sub node so this is how you can create a parent node parent node inside we have a child node inside child node you can create a sub node so this is a basic category setup now i want to assign this category to the default procurement category so this will category will be shown at the time of purchase process so let's convert this category hierarchy to the procurement category hierarchy first we see the existing procurement category okay for this you can go to procurement and sourcing module inside procurement and sourcing consignment you can find the product procurement category so let's go and convert this category hierarchy to the procurement category hierarchy and assign the different product into the specific group inside product information management we go to category hierarchy role association inside here we add our new category as a procurement group so here you can see here is a multiple hierarchy type used at the time of sales process also we have retail which is used at time of retail sales currently we will use procurement category hierarchy and select our new product category here now our new product category will be used as a default procurement category to check this setup we'll go to procurement and sourcing module here under procurement sourcing consignment you can find the product procurement categories you can see here our new category is visible now so the basic category setup and the role assignment setup is completed now the now the third important part of the category is ass assigning your categories to the product so in directly for fno you have two method to assigning the category to the product first you can directly go to procurement sourcing all product product master select the product for which you want to assign the category inside product setup you can find the product categories 
and you can directly assign the category over here but assigning the category for each product it very tedious stack so I suggested you to use the second method to assign the category the second method is good again to product and information here in the category hierarchy setup open the categories select the parent node or child node accordingly inside the product tab you can find the add button here click on add select the product which you want to assign in this category click on ok now you can see over here their product is assigned a category to check this setups you can go to again product information management release product by category here you can see the all categories and related product according to their categories you can select the product and here you can see all the product which is assigned under this category so that's it for this video in the next episode we will talk about the product attribute type so stay tuned with us thank you for watching